Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. It makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord. Not now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. 